Su Ziyuan traveled through the Fongyun continent and became the son of the top sect leader of the Yuntian sect. He is an existence that others can only look up to. However, Su Ziyuan, who had originally thought of a perfect start, tragically discovered that he was actually a villain. There are countless sons and daughters of luck here who want to step on themselves to ascend. But, ding dong, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Yin Yang Supreme Body, which has a fatal attraction to the daughter of Qi Luck. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for killing the son of Qi Yun and obtaining the Annihilation Saber decision. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for subduing the daughter of Qi Yun and obtaining the Imperial Soldier's Nine Turn Magic Blade. The saints who were originally high and mighty suddenly turned into licking dogs, unable to drive them away on their own. Those talented and powerful sons of luck, upon seeing the protagonist, feel as if they are facing the greatest terror in this world. Chapter 1 This physique is truly fragrant. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Fengyuan Continent, Yunhai Si, Yenchenzong as the top power in the Cloud Sea area, it is capable of intimidating a whole world. At this moment, in the Yunlan pavilion of Yuntian sect, Su Ziyuan was slowly waking up. I'm going. How could something like, time travel, happen to me? After waking up, Su Ziyuan looked bewildered, and immediately, a sea of memories flooded into his mind. From the memory of the original owner, Su Ziyuan finally understood his current situation. Originally, my current identity was that of a young master of an unparalleled sect, who would be admired wherever he went. However, what makes people sigh is that he seems to be an uneducated and inexperienced second-generation wealthy man, with no other abilities except for romance and romance. Among the younger generation in the sect, the cultivation level is even more shameless, making Su Chia, as the father of the sect leader, exclaimed that this is more of a pit for his father. However, after all, he is his own son. Even if his cultivation is not very good, as long as Su Chie remains the leader of the Yuntian sect for a day, there are not many people on this Fongyun continent who dare to bully Su Ziyuan. However, at this moment. Ding dong, system activation successful. Congratulations host, this is the super invincible villain system. As long as you become a villain, you can become stronger. As long as you complete the system's villain task, you can receive system rewards. I'll wipe it. Upon hearing the inexplicable system sound, Su Ziyuan was momentarily stunned, followed by a burst of ecstasy, and quickly opened his attribute panel. Host Su Ziyuan Identity Background Yunhaihai, Young Master of Yuntian Sect Cultivation In the early stage of Foundation Construction Martial Arts Blazing Flame Technique Constitution Incomplete Blade Bones Divine Skill Flame Blade Technique Qi Yun Black Negative Point 200, System, Have You Heard of My Story? Su Ziyuan is uneducated and has a natural villainous fate. Did he even understand the system? So what I am giving myself is not a diligent system, nor is it a hard work system, but a villain system that can be invincible when the villain is. No. But your face is filled with stories. I'll wipe it. Disgusting. You're really accurate at judging people. When can we release villain missions now? Send it now. Task 1. Take 1 HP and defeat a Tianjiao in a 1. on point 1 battle. Task 2. Conquer a woman with good luck as a maid. Requires the other party's willingness, the system mechanically prompts. I'll go. Su Ziyuan was speechless for a moment. How could this hair hanging system release such a difficult task for itself from the very beginning? Those Tianjiao and Xunzi in the major sects can challenge themselves beyond their level just by cultivating themselves. Isn't it like being beaten up in a one dot on point one competition with my current dish? As for the woman who subdues her luck, although she is a handsome woman, she is not confident enough to make all women sink for herself. Please don't panic, the host. Here is a beginner gift package to help you practice. 
open the beginner gift pack. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Yin Yang Supreme Body. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Tianpin Quenching Body Pill. Ding dong, congratulations on the host's cultivation being elevated to the level of Yuanying Great Perfection. As the sound of the system fell, Su Ziyuan immediately sensed a sharp change in his body. Under the influence of a mysterious force, Su Ziyuan's limbs were filled with terrifying energy. After a moment, a terrifying aura emanated from Su Ziyuan's body, which was the full and round aura of Yuanning. Feeling the immense energy in his body, Su Ziyuan felt a wave of relief in his heart. By the way, what constitution is this Yin Yang Supreme Body? Is it very strong? This is the first time Su Ziyuan has heard of this physique. Strong. Very strong. The Yin Yang Supreme Body is a special constitution passed down from ancient times, favored by the Heavenly Way. Born to attract the spiritual energy of heaven and earth into one's own body, the cultivation speed is extremely terrifying. The most important point is that the Yin Yang Supreme Body possesses the Tao Rhyme of the Yin Yang Avenue. Anyone who rests with it can both benefit greatly from it, even if they achieve the title of Immortal Emperor. The introduction of the system suddenly made Su Ziyuan feel a bit uneasy. May I ask, if the Yin Yang Supreme Body is really as powerful as the system introduces, wouldn't it be that the saints of those holy places and powerful sects would all regard themselves as Tang monks and fight their lives to climb up? As soon as Su Ziyuan thought of sitting in a flower bush in the future, his heart couldn't help but become agitated. At this moment, the voice of a servant sounded outside the door. Young master. What's up? Speak up. Su Ziyuan's voice came from inside the room, with a hint of authority. I would like to inform you, young master. Today is the birthday of the saint of Yuhua Gate, Luo Qianqian. In order to celebrate Luo Qianqian's birthday, the head of Yuhua sect, Yuluosha, specially sent invitations to various major sects Jinjiao. I hope to take this opportunity to help Luo Qianqian become a strong hero in the world and see if she can find the person she likes. I wonder if the young master has any intention of going. The servant outside answered truthfully. Su Ziyuan was originally worried about not having the opportunity to complete the task of system release. I didn't expect to have the opportunity to complete the task so quickly. Although Yuhua Gate may not have great strength, Saint Luo Qianqian has already gained fame. In the Cloud Sea Beauty ranking, it is enough to rank among the top three. Now, on the birthday of Luo Qianqian, there is no need to think that there must be countless Jinjiao from various major sects who went to congratulate him. With his current strength, it will not be easy for him to easily find an excuse and take down a Tianjiao. As for whether one can meet the daughter of fate, it all depends on luck. You go and prepare. Then he followed me to Yuhua Gate. Yes. Roar. 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 Three deafening animal roars emanated from within the cloud heavenly sect, mixed with a heart-wrenching sense of oppression. Many people living near the cloud heavenly sect are filled with fear and look up at the sky. In mid-air, three huge white tigers were driving side by side, pulling a colorful glazed chariot. The chariot emits colorful radiance, like a rainbow cutting through the sky. At the same time, on both sides of the chariot, several armored soldiers with black swords on their waists and black battle helmets marched through the air, exuding an astonishing aura that filled them with a terrifying sense of awe. Look, that's the white tiger colorful chariot. And the black armor sword guard. It's the young master of Yunhai sect traveling. I don't know where the young master went today to search for flowers and willows. It's really enviable. Shu. You're not going to die anymore. Talking about the young master around the cloud heavenly sect can be frustrating. Did you forget that guy last time just glanced at the young master openly and was beaten to ashes? Hey, I'm not sure if I'll have the opportunity to join the Cloud Heavenly Sect in my lifetime. Chapter 2 Lei Shizong in the Way 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Cloud C area, outside Yuhua Gate, is bustling with activity at this moment. Many invited Tianjiao went to Yuhua Gate with their respective teams. They not only want to win the favor of Luo Qianxian, but also want to take this opportunity to showcase their strength in front of other heavenly pride. The Lord of the Divine Eagle Castle, Yizhou, brought a South China Sea Pearl to congratulate the Virgin Mary. The young master of the Flame Palace, Yen Mang, brought the Millennium Spirit Jade Cake to congratulate the saint. I don't know if it's because Luo Qianxian's fame is too great or for some other reason. The originally large mountain gate of Yuhua Gate suddenly appeared a bit crowded, making the Yuhua Gate students in charge of reception somewhat busy. Suddenly. Earthquakes. The piercing roar of the beast came from afar. Let everyone outside the originally noisy Yuhua Gate look for their reputation. At the end of the road, dozens of thunderous rhinoceroses slowly approached, pulling a luxurious carriage. And what caused the Earth's vibration was the dozens of massive thunder rhinoceroses moving forward together. At the front of the team, there is an extremely large thunder rhinoceros leading the way. Just that size alone is full of a sense of oppression. That's the thunder rhinoceros sect. As for what's inside the carriage, it must be Lei Yu, the young master of the Thunder Rhinoceros sect. It is said that Lei Yu has always been extremely domineering in his actions. If you don't agree, you'll take someone's life. What are you panicking about? Although our sect strength is not as strong as Lei Shi sect. But when it comes to cultivation alone, I don't believe it can't compare to him. Just as a group of Tianjiao and the monks who came to congratulate each other were discussing the arrival of the Thunder Domain. Don't want to die. Get lost. On the top of the Thunder Rhinoceros at the forefront of the team, a Thunder Guard dressed in purple armor shouted fiercely at the crowd blocking in front of him. The sound was rolling like thunder. Under the roar of the Thunder Guard, many guards around Tianjiao were shocked and their footsteps stumbled. This person is actually in the Golden Elixir realm. It is said that the Thunder Guards, dressed in purple armor, have each one's strength built upon the foundation. I saw it today, and indeed it is. Why is Lei Shi sect so domineering? We've already arrived, why should we make way? That's right, can't it be that he, the Thunder Rhinoceros sect, wants to drive away so many of us at the same time? Many people, relying on their own strength, sneered at the scolding from the previous Lei Wei, and their figures remained motionless. Tianjiao, who doesn't have any pride in their bones, just relying on one of your guards under Lei Yu to drive them away. However, there are also many sects with low sect strength that wisely choose to give way. With their strength, if they provoke the Thunder Domain in that chariot, they are afraid that their sect will also be in danger for an instant. There are still many teams blocking in front of me. A domineering and youthful voice immediately came from the carriage. Give them face, they don't want it. Hands on, blow them away. Yes, young master. With the command of Lei Yu. All the thunder guards surrounding the thunder domain were neatly marching and quickly forming a special battle formation. The next moment. Guns shoot like dragons. I saw the battle formation formed by dozens of Lei Wei soldiers, instantly condensed into a huge phantom gun head. Amazing energy continuously emanated from within, and then fiercely thrust towards the crowd in front of them. Damn it, Lei Shizong really dares to attack us. Don't panic, everyone, resist together. Bullying others too much. I'm so arrogant, I'm really afraid of you when I wait. As Lei Wei's attack approached, the cultivators who had been standing still and had not given way began to use their own techniques to confront them. For a moment, the fluctuations of various martial arts energies bloomed in the void. Boom boom boom. The sound of bombardment is endless. After a moment, as the smoke and dust of the battle dissipated, a portion of the cultivators who had been blocking the Thunder Domain had already been shaken away. The remaining ones, although still standing in place, were somewhat disheveled in shape. Although the cultivation level of these thunder guards is only around the golden elixir, 
Under the bonus of the battle formation, the previous strike was comparable to that of Yuanyin. Wait, why don't you step back? The previous Lei Wei once again reprimanded and was ready to launch the second strike. Faced with such a powerful Thunder Rhinoceros sect, the remaining cultivators were furious. But the fact is in front of us, if the attacks like the one just now can continue to be launched, then the rest of them may not be able to resist a few times. Just at this moment. Roar. A huge roar came from the sky. Everyone looked up and saw three huge white tigers rushing towards the sky like animal gods, pulling colorful chariots. The black armored guards following on both sides are like heavenly gods descending to earth, emitting a breathtaking aura. The largest thunder rhinoceros in front of the thunder rhinoceros sect happened to block the path of three white tigers. Before everyone could react, the three white tigers each slapped their claws at the thunder rhinoceros. A hen, a mournful cry came from Lei Shi's mouth. Unfortunately, the thunder rhinoceros with a cultivation level of at least golden elixir couldn't even withstand it, so it was shot apart and blood and internal organs flowed all over the ground. And the thunder guard above the thunder rhinoceros came to an even more tragic end, as he was swallowed by a white tiger with its big mouth open. The sudden and bloody scene stunned everyone. Everyone looked at the colorful chariot in mid-air with a look of fear in their eyes. Daring to provoke the Thunder Rhinoceros sect so recklessly indicates that the opponent's background is greater than that of the Thunder Domain. White Tiger Black Armored Sword Guard This is Yuntian's sect. Oh my goodness! It's hard to say that the young master of Yuntian's sect has arrived here. Even if not the young master, he is still a person of extremely high status. Ordinary people do not have the qualification to ride on the white tiger colorful chariot. No wonder, if it were the cloud heavenly sect, the thunder rhine sect would have to bear this loss alone. Just these black armored sword guards are enough to crush everyone here. No one needed to speak at all. Faced with the black armor sword guard, whose momentum and strength completely overwhelmed everyone, everyone wisely gave way. Not long after, three terrifying white tigers slowly landed on the colorful chariot, and a magnificent man walked slowly down from the chariot. It was Su Ziyuan who recently departed from Yintian's sect and came to Yuhua Gate to attend the birthday of Luo Qianqian. At this moment, Su Ziyuan's aura converged. If his cultivation level did not far exceed his great abilities, it would be impossible to detect his true strength. Lei Yu, who had suffered a great loss before, is now sitting in the carriage, feeling extremely angry. Why did you lose a thunder rhino and a thunder guard before even entering the gate of Yuhua Gate? It is not easy to cultivate a thunder rhinoceros in the golden elixir stage and a thunder guard in the golden elixir stage. Even though he was angry in his heart, Lei Yu dared not express his dissatisfaction in front of Su Ziyuan. The towering Yuntian sect is not something that their Thunder Rhinoceros sect can provoke. However, this does not prevent him from whispering. What are you proud of? It's not just because I have a good father. If you weren't the young master of Yuntian sect, I could have kicked you out of shit. Lei Yu murmured softly, his face full of disdain for Su Ziyuan. Su Ziyuan's ignorant and incompetent deeds have long been well dot known, so many Tianjia were only driven by fear of the cloud heavenly sect. But for Su Ziyuan, if he didn't have the identity of Yuntian's sect, he might just be a joke in the eyes of everyone. Although Lei Yu's voice was so low that only he thought he could hear it. However, for Black Armor Sword Guard and Su Ziyuan, they heard a lot of words in their ears. Chapter 3 Thunder Fields with Blown Heads You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Bold. If you dare to disrespect the young master of Yuntian sect, you should be beheaded. Immediately, the black armor sword guard pulled out his personal sword and pointed towards the location of the Thunder Domain, while his momentum continued to increase. This posture is clearly intended to kill the young master of the Thunder Rhine sect. Just as the Black Armor Sword Guard was preparing to launch a challenge and take action against Lei Yu, Su Ziyuan's voice rang out. You can stop and leave this person to me. 
Yes, young master. When Su Ziyuan spoke, all the black armored knife guards stopped their movements and looked towards the Thunder Shizong with a murderous expression. Lei Yu, who was originally sitting in the carriage, clearly did not expect to mutter so quietly. However, he was still heard by the people of the Cloud Heavenly Sect, and for a moment, he felt a little flustered. He had to grit his head and get off the carriage. Thunder Rhinoceros Sect Thunder Domain, I have seen the young master. Just now. It was Lei Yu's momentary impulse. Please don't take it to heart, young master. Lei Yu is here to compensate you. Lei Yu Chiang pretended to be respectful and bowed to Su Ziyuan. Although extremely unwilling in my heart, there is no room for any resistance from Lei Yu in the current situation. Compared to the Cloud Heavenly Sect, my sect is like a weak horse shaking a tree, completely incomparable. Bold. Did I ask you to stand and talk to me? Su Ziyuan's eyes flashed with a hint of coldness, and he casually drew a black armored sword guard sword from the side and struck the thunder domain with a slash. Suddenly, a brilliant blade of light rushed towards Lei Yu standing in front of the carriage at a speed visible to the naked eye. Lei Yu had no expectation of Su Ziyuan's sudden move. When he realized he wanted to dodge, he realized that he was completely locked in by the knife light and couldn't dodge at all. Puff. The knife light flashed by. Amidst the gaze of everyone around him, Lei Yu's legs broke knee high. Ah. A mournful scream came from Lei Yu's mouth. The thunder domain, which had lost its leg support, suddenly collapsed heavily like a pillar without support. Even though he had just used his cultivation in the golden elixir period to emit protective energy to protect himself, he could no longer resist Su Ziyuan's attack. How could it be? Isn't it true that he only has a cultivation level during the foundation building period? Why can't I resist his move? The Thunder Domain, lying in a pool of blood, had a twisted face and was shocked inwardly. The onlookers were also somewhat surprised by Su Ziyuan's move to disable Lei Yu's legs. The Thunder Domain cultivator has already entered the early stages of the Golden Elixir. And it's even more powerful than the regular early stages of the Golden Elixir. Su Gongzi wasted Lei Yu's legs with just one move. Master Su's cultivation has also entered the Golden Elixir, and his realm is even higher. A Tianjiao who was familiar with the situation of the two people said to the people around him. Isn't it true? It's said that Mr. Su only stepped into the foundation building for a short time. How could it be possible to enter the Golden Elixir in such a short time? Can it be that the Cloud Sky Sect leader has lowered his blood cost again and improved Su Gongzi's cultivation? If you are forcibly improving your cultivation, although your realm is the same as the Golden Elixir, your strength is still weaker compared to the real Golden Elixir. Judging from Mr. Su's recent move, it seemed extremely relaxed and he didn't put in much effort. Don't guess randomly, everyone. No matter what cultivation Master Su has now, it's not something we can compare to. What this brother said is absolutely right. It's better not to discuss it on our own. At this moment, all the members of the Thunder Rhine sect saw their young master lying in a pool of blood, looking extremely miserable, and their hearts were extremely clear. However, at this moment, no one dares to step forward and help up Lei Yu. It's not that I don't want to, but that I dare not. At this moment, Su Ziyuan had already walked slowly towards Lei Yu. Facing Su Ziyuan, whose identity, background, and strength were all above his own, Lei Yu's heart was filled with despair at this moment. Now, apart from begging for mercy, he has no thoughts. Young master, I was wrong just now. Please calm down, young master. If you can let me go back, the Thunder Domain will bring heavy gifts to the Cloud Heaven sect to apologize on a certain day. Please forgive me, young master. At this moment, Lei Yu, who had lost both legs, pressed his head tightly against the ground and kept bumping, without any trace of the arrogant and domineering look he had just shown. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in things like Lei Shizong's influence. Sorry, there's no need to say more. Remember, take care of your mouth in the next life. Let's go. 
A cold smile appeared at the corner of Su Ziyuan's mouth, and then he lifted one foot and stepped directly on the head of Lei Yu on the ground. Bang it's like a scene of watermelon shattering. In front of everyone, Lei Yu's head was trampled by Xing Sheng. Suddenly, various liquids flowed all over the ground. Fortunately, Su Ziyuan protected his entire body with his true body qi in advance and was not affected by these things. After Su Ziyuan casually killed Lei Yu, the crowd around couldn't help but swallow their saliva. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for completing the mission of killing Tianjiao. Obtain rewards for breaking the sky three styles, ding dong, the host brutally killed a Tianjiao and successfully intimidated everyone. He was considered a villain and gained 500 villain points, 5000 can open them all. As soon as Lei Yu died, the system's rewards came with it. This also brought joy to Su Ziyuan's heart, and he quickly checked the newly obtained rewards. The Three Forms of Breaking the Sky Supreme Level Divine Power, Gathering Qi to Form a Sword, with Tremendous Power It divides into three forms. Breaking the River, Breaking the Earth, and Breaking the Sky The power of each form is doubled. The system's introduction to the three moves of Breaking the Sky is extremely simple, but just from the names of the moves, Su Ziyuan felt that such a divine power must be terrifying. It's too cruel. Never provoke Mr. Su in the future. I didn't expect the young master of Yuntian's sect to be so domineering, he's really handsome. What a pity. Just now, this Thunder Domain was trying to bully us with its own power. I didn't expect that in just a short while, my life would have returned to the underworld. Just as everyone was wary of Su Ziyuan and sighed at Lei Yu's sudden death. I saw a woman dressed in luxurious clothes and with a graceful figure welcoming her from the Yuhua Gate, surrounded by a group of young women dressed in black dresses. The head of Yuhua, Yuluosha, has seen Prince Su. It is an honor for the Yuhua Gate to have Mr. Su attend Xianqian's birthday. Su Ziyuan arrived at the Yuhua Gate, and a disciple of the Yuhua Gate had already gone to report to the Jade Buddha. As a hegemonic force within the Cloud Sea, the arrival of Su Ziyuan undoubtedly brought great favor to the Jade Buddha. He quickly summoned his disciples to greet him without any hesitation. Faced with Su Ziyuan, even as the head of a noble sect, the attitude of the Jade Buddha appeared extremely humble. Master Yuman doesn't need to be too polite. Su has long heard that Miss Chanchan's appearance is unparalleled in the world. On the occasion of Miss Chanchan's birthday, I happened to catch a glimpse of her beautiful appearance. Su Ziyuan dressed in white, with his hands behind his back and his long black hair dancing without wind. His eyes were full of divine colors, leaving many female disciples in the Yuhua sect stunned and her heart pounding wildly. Upon hearing Su Ziyuan's words, Yuluosha didn't even know what Su Ziyuan meant. He immediately said to his back. Chan Chan, come over quickly. I've seen Mr. Su before. As soon as Yuluosha finished speaking, a young woman walked out of the crowd behind her. When Su Ziyuan looked up, he saw the young woman emitting a faint golden light that was imperceptible to ordinary people, appearing extremely special in the crowd. Ding dong, congratulations to the host for discovering the daughter of Chi Luck. Just as Su Ziyuan was observing the woman, the sound of the system rang out. Chapter 4 The Appearance of the Son of Chi Yun You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. It seems that the heavens still favor me. So quickly discovered the daughter of Luck. Upon hearing the system prompt, Su Ziyuan knew that he had not come in vain this time. Not only did he successfully kill a Tianjiao, but he also discovered the daughter of luck. Chan Chan has seen Mr. Su. Luo Chan Chan was dressed in purple clothes and clothes, with skin that was more snowy than snow, and could be easily broken by a blow. Her plump waist, coupled with her perky jade buttocks, perfectly outlined her figure. The willow eyebrows, big eyes, slightly vermilion lips, and the delicate face that can be called an artwork, make any man have an impulse to kiss and be beautiful. So this is Luo Chanchan from Yuhua Gate. What a peerless beauty. It's really beautiful, 
calling it a fairy is not an exaggeration. If one can win their heart, but what's wrong with death? I'm afraid only the other few on the ultimate beauty list can be on par with Miss Chan Chan. In front of Miss Chan Chan, even the stunning and indescribable epiphilum will fade away. The appearance of Luo Chan Chan made all the Tianjiao who came to congratulate widen their eyes, with a hint of fierceness in their eyes. When Su Ziyuan observed Luo Chan Chan, he also looked at Su Ziyuan. It has to be said that even Luo Chan Chan, who has seen countless Tianjiao and wealthy young masters, was somewhat stunned when he saw Su Ziyuan. Su Ziyuan seemed to be like a man walking out of a painting, with an ethereal temperament, handsome facial features, and innate authority that could make most women fall in love with him. However, due to Luo Chanchan's long dot term practice of the Jade Maiden Heart Sutra, her icy state of mind had long made her extremely cold and stunning. She was only slightly surprised before regaining her composure. But soon, Luo Chanchan was surprised again. Originally, around Su Ziyuan at this moment, there were two halos, one black and one white, tightly surrounding her, emitting an indescribable aura that made her breathing quicken. This is the two energies of yin and yang. In ancient books, it is recorded that anyone who practices with the two energies of yin and yang surrounding them is the owner of the supreme body of yin and yang. It is said that if one can practice with those who possess the yin yang supreme body, not only can they have great opportunities, but they also have the opportunity to glimpse the imperial realm. Suddenly, Luo Chanchan's originally hard heart, as cold as ice for thousands of years, immediately became panicked. No one can resist the temptation of the Yin Yang Supreme Body, let alone the fact that the owner of this Yin Yang Supreme Body is still the young master of the dominant power in the Cloud Sea, and he is so handsome. Miss Chan Chan, there's no need to be too polite. I have long heard that Miss Chan Chan's appearance is unparalleled in the world. At first sight today, it was even more stunning than what was rumored. Thank you very much for Su Gongzi's absurd praise. Chan Chan's appearance is incomparable to Su Gongzi's unparalleled elegance. Please go to the reception hall of Yuhua Gate and take a seat, Mr. Su, and take a break. That's great. Under the guidance of Yuluosha and Luo Chan Chan, Su Ziyuan and his group were honored as guests and entered the Yuhua Gate. As Su Ziyuan entered the Yuhua Gate, he suddenly sensed a strong killing intent in the crowd. This killing intent is not aimed at others, but at himself. Su Ziyuan, I didn't expect to meet you here. Yuntian sect has destroyed our sect and slaughtered our family. This blood sea has become enmity, and sooner or later I will ask you to pay back twice as much. Among a group of disciples at Yuhua Gate, a young man with red eyes looked at Su Ziyuan with a murderous intent in his eyes. A few years ago, Luo Hao's father offended the Cloud Heavenly Sect over a very small matter. Unexpectedly, on that day, the Cloud Heavenly Sect sent someone to destroy Luo Hao's entire family. His father risked his life to keep Luo Hao alive by hiding him. When Luo Hao was young, he listened to the screams of his beloved relatives and friends being slaughtered outside, and the seeds of hatred had already been planted in his heart. He swore that one day, he would use his own hands to wipe the cloud heavenly sect out of the cloud sea and make them repay the pain they had felt twice. At this moment, feeling the killing intent, Su Ziyuan immediately looked around and looked into the crowd. Coincidentally, at this moment, I discovered Luo Hao, who was watching me grit my teeth. Like Luo Chanchan, there is also a golden light emanating from Luo Hao's body. Moreover, it is more intense than Luo Chanchan. Ding dong. Discover the son of Qi Yun, Luo Hao. Luo Hao. The son of Qi Yun Prop. Dragon slaying blade, treading on the sky, current Qi value. Golden the ultimate treasure of one's destiny. Xian Tian ring current kill reward. None killing explanation. When the Qi luck of the son of Qi Yun turns black, it is in a state that can be killed. If you plunder his or her life treasure, you can obtain all the rewards and Qi luck bonuses on his or her body. Killing the son of Qi Yun who has non-black Qi luck cannot obtain any rewards, 
and there is a certain chance of being punished by the heavenly Tao. Damn it! Seeing the last item, Su Ziyuan couldn't help but curse his mother. Undoubtedly the son of Qi Luck, blessed by the heavenly way. Even if it's as simple as pinching Luo Hao like an ant now, if you take action against him at this time, it is highly likely to attract punishment from the heavens. System, is the punishment of the heavenly Tao severe. Ten deaths without life. Dot. I understand. Isn't this the legendary hanging ratio? Having confirmed that Luo Hao is the son of Qi Yun, Su Ziyuan is not in a hurry to take his seat. Amidst the puzzled gaze of a group of people, Su Ziyuan walked straight to Luo Hao. Damn it! How did he notice me? Although he wished he could cut Su Ziyuan to pieces, Luo Hao knew that this was not the right time. He has not truly grown up yet, and facing a group of black armored sword guards behind Su Ziyuan, he will never escape and ascend to heaven. Moreover, for a hegemonic force like the Cloud Heavenly Sect, there must be a super expert behind Su Ziyuan to protect him in secret. I'm afraid the other person can easily crush me with just one finger. Seeing Su Ziyuan walking towards him, the strong killing intent in Luo Hao's eyes immediately dissipated and he returned to his previous clear appearance. He must endure it. What's your name? Su Ziyuan looked at Luo Hao and asked with great interest. Luo Hao. Luo Hao's tone was cold, his eyes fixed on Su Ziyuan. Bold. Luo Hao, what is your identity? Why don't you bow when you see Prince Su? Seeing Luo Hao with a proud expression and no courtesy towards Su Ziyuan, the nearby Jade Buddha couldn't help but scold him. Finally, with the opportunity to get close to the Cloud Heavenly Sect, the Jade Buddha will not allow anyone to destroy it. I have met Mr. Su. Under the eaves, people had to bow their heads. Luo Hao could only respond perfunctorily, but his proud head never lowered a penny. Luo Hao, what's going on with you today? I see you have been practicing recently and have gone crazy, haven't you? Su Gongzi, such a big shot, is able to talk to you, which is already a great face for you. Have you fed the dog all the etiquette I usually teach you? Faced with Yu Luasha's repeated questioning, Luo Hao remained silent and did not express anything, but instead turned his gaze to other places. You. Someone. Take Luo Hao to the firewood house in the back mountain. Without my command, you cannot leave half a step. Seeing that Luo Hao was still stubborn, Yu Luo Sha was greatly angered. If Su Ziyuan was angered by him, the Yuhua sect might find it difficult to develop in the Yunhai Sea in the future. In Chapter 5, he will also be interested in poetry. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After Luo Hao was taken away by other disciples, all the disciples of Yuhua sect were somewhat dissatisfied with him. You should know that the Yuhua Gate is just a middle dot class force. If there is a chance to climb the big tree of the Yuntian sect, it will definitely soar to the sky in the future. But now that Luo Hao is facing the young master of the Cloud Heavenly sect, Su Ziyuan, who is highly likely to become the master of the Cloud Heavenly sect in the future, is so rude. Isn't this to cut off the opportunity for its Yuhua sect to develop and grow? Luo Chanchan, who originally had a good relationship with Luo Hao, frowned displeasantly at Luo Hao's abnormality today. Ding dong, Luo Hao caused dissatisfaction among the crowd and his luck decreased. The system prompt stunned Su Ziyuan, and then he smiled slightly. Is this okay? Once Luo Hao's qi value changes to black, he will immediately take the other person's life and seize his opportunity. Master Yuman, what is the origin of this person? Su Ziyuan calmly asked the nearby Jade Buddha. Report to Master Su. This Luo Hao happened to meet me by chance while I was on a trip. At that time, he was still a child and was being surrounded by fierce beasts. I saw him pitiful, so I saved him. After being rescued, he found out that his parents had both died and he currently has no relatives. So I brought it back to the sect. Unexpectedly, 
This son has excellent qualifications and can make rapid progress in cultivation in a short period of time. He is also able to challenge himself beyond his level, comparable to Tianjiao, but his temperament is somewhat peculiar. Please calm down, young Master Su, and don't argue with this stinky guy. Yuluosha arched his hand at Su Ziyuan and apologized to him for Luo Hao's recent behavior. It's okay. The more capable a person is, the more flamboyant their personality is. I am not a person who cares about every detail. Su Ziyuan smiled slightly and said. For his words, people around him are secretly harboring rumors. Are you still saying that you don't mind every detail? Just now, he kicked and exploded the head of the Thunder Rhinoceros Sex Thunder Domain. After Su Ziyuan followed Yoluosha to the reception hall, all the previous Tianjiao who had come here stood up and saluted coincidentally. Have you met Mr. Su? Su Ziyuan didn't even look at the crowd salute and went straight to the VIP seat prepared by the Jade Buddha and sat down. He is now a villain, so he must have a villainous appearance. Not every cat and dog can make him deal with it. This. Mr. Su seems to have ignored us directly. There's no way, they have a bigger background than us. Everyone immediately sat down awkwardly. As soon as the people arrived, the banquet officially began. Today is Chan Chen's birthday. Thank you all for coming and attending. To show gratitude, Chan Chen specially prepared a dance to cheer everyone up. At this moment, Luo Chanchan had already put on a white dress, making her look like a fairy in the Moon Palace, pure and beautiful. When the music sounded, Luo Chanchan stepped on the lotus steps and danced gracefully. The graceful dance movements, proud figure, and noble temperament like a snow lotus, at this moment, everyone's eyes were deeply attracted by Luo Chanchan. After the dance, thunderous applause followed. Today we are fortunate enough to witness the beauty of Miss Chan Chan. The sinking fish and falling geese, the closed moon and shy flowers, are all inferior to Miss Chan Chan. I'm afraid it's just a fairy descending to earth. Seeing everyone's interest stirred up by him, Yoluosha smiled and said to everyone. I have heard that there are many talented individuals among you. I don't know who is talented enough to write a poem on sight. If it can satisfy Chan Chan, it will be presented to the jade silk bag personally woven by the champion Chan Chan. Yuluosha's words immediately caused a sensation. You should know that there are many cultivators sitting here today who are both civil and military. Even worse, it has already gained fame. Su Ziyuan did not expect that Yuluosha would ask everyone to write poetry at this time. However, for him as a traveler, any poem he brings out is a groundbreaking work. I'll come first. In the Yuhua Gate, there are stunning colors, and white clothes are more intoxicating than snow dancing. A glance and a smile intoxicate people's hearts, and a graceful and graceful posture intoxicates people. Immediately, a cultivator who considered himself talented began reciting poetry. Not bad, this level is stronger than me. Unfortunately, I don't have much education, otherwise I would say, high and low, in two sentences. However, Luo Chanchan smiled and shook his head, indicating that he was not very satisfied with this poem. Just as someone finished offering a poem here, there were immediately those who were not satisfied and began to compete to obtain Luo Chanchan's jade silk bag. Listen to me. The skin is like condensed fat, the eyebrows are like hooks, and the willow waist is a bundle of soft and weak bones. Dancing gracefully like colorful butterflies, with three thousand green threads like waterfalls. The poetry of the second monk still did not win the favor of Luo Chanchan. Subsequently, some people came forward one after another to offer their poems, but without exception, they did not satisfy Luo Chanchan. For those of you, it is also worthy of being called poetry. It's simply ridiculous. It's rare to see Miss Chan Chan dance like a fairy today. I, Zhao Li, dare to show my ugliness. A crisp sound sounded. I saw a young man standing up at the moment, gentle and elegant, with a poetic and scholarly aura all over his body. 
since it's him. Isn't this Xiao Li from Tsinghua Gate? It is said that this person is full of knowledge and literature. I have long heard that Zhao Li could recognize characters at the age of three and write poetry at the age of five. Renowned as the most outstanding talent in the history of Tsinghua University, he is also known as the Little Poet Immortal. Tsinghua Gate enters the Tao with literature. Today we happen to have a chance to see and see. At this moment, Zhao Li arrogantly scanned his surroundings, then raised his head and chest, pondered for a while, and then spoke. The sinking fish, falling geese, and birds exclaim in surprise, the shy flowers, the closed moon, and the sorrowful flowers. But seeing a beautiful woman in front of me, I'm afraid it's a fairy falling into the mortal world. As soon as this poem was written, the whole audience was in a uproar. Okay. What a great poem. Undoubtedly Zhao Li, this beautiful sentence can be found in just a few words. We feel inferior. Brother Zhao is talented, I admire him. Once this poem is written, it may be difficult to have a match. Sure enough, Zhao Li's poem also moved Luo Qianxian a bit. It must be admitted that Zhao Li's poetry is indeed much higher than others. For a while, no one stood up to compete with Zhao Li again. Seeing that no one was composing poetry anymore, Zhao Li smiled proudly and a sense of superiority arose. Miss Chan Chan, this poem was written hastily and has many shortcomings. I don't know if Miss Chan Chan is satisfied. Although Zhao Li's poem is already very outstanding, Luo Chan Chan always feels that it is not to his taste, but currently no one has challenged it again. It seems that the jade silk bag made by oneself can only be given to Zhao Li. Just at this moment. Wait a minute. Finally, at this moment, Su Ziyuan's voice rang out. At this moment, when Su Ziyuan spoke out, everyone turned their gaze towards him. Does Mr. Su also want to participate? Can Master Su create better poetry than Zhao Li? There's a good show to watch now. I've only heard that Prince Su is proficient in wind, flowers, snow, and moon, and I haven't heard of him being able to write poetry. Chapter 6 Release That Girl You are listening at NovelFull.audio At this moment, Zhao Li, who had thought he had won, couldn't help but sneer when he saw that the person speaking was Su Ziyuan. If it were someone else, he would still be a little more attentive. But if the poet is Su Ziyuan, it really makes it difficult for him to take it to heart. Who doesn't know that Su Ziyuan is just a playboy? Although he doesn't know why his cultivation has skyrocketed, if his talent and talent can match his own, he wouldn't believe it if he killed Zhao Li. Just as everyone was curious and ready to listen attentively, Su Ziyuan finally spoke up. To describe the beauty of Miss Chan Chan, just one word is enough. Su Ziyuan pondered for a moment before slowly uttering a word. Absolutely. When this statement was made, everyone was stunned. After waiting for a long time, I thought Su Ziyuan could have any insights, but I didn't expect it to be just this. As the saying goes, as long as you don't feel embarrassed, it's others who are embarrassed. When Zhao Li heard that Su Ziyuan had only said one word, he felt so embarrassed that he wished he could use his toes to dig out the three rooms and one living room. After Su Ziyuan finished speaking, seeing that everyone was silent, he couldn't help but frown and say. What's going on? Do you think there's something wrong with what I said? Who agrees? Who opposes? He coldly scanned the crowd, his tone extremely domineering. Sweeped by Su Ziyuan's cold gaze, those Qinjiao with low background strength dared not say a word of no. Amazing! Su Gongzi's perspective is indeed far superior to ours. Just a single word can evoke various wonderful praises. The saying goes that those who are aware of current affairs are heroes, but there are still many smart people here. Although what Su Ziyuan just said was bullshit, he has a big background. This kind of opportunity to turn a deer into a horse and flatter a horse is not something that can be caught up with at all times. Even though Zhao Li's poetry was truly excellent, 
after Su Ziyuan spoke up, all the praise came to Su Ziyuan's side. The word Su Gongzi can be said to encompass everything. Although we just praised Miss Chan Chan with poetry. But without exception, they are all included in Su Gongzi's unique character. Young master, great talent. Please accept my next bow. At the end of the avenue is to simplify complexity. Originally, Master Su had already understood this point thoroughly. Now it seems that our poetry is really vulgar and unbearable in front of Master Su. Right, right. I have the same idea as everyone else. Although Mr. Su only said one word. But it has surpassed countless poems. At this moment, the most awkward person in the room is undoubtedly Zhao Li, who just thought he had the chance to win. From everyone's current attitude, it seems that even if Su Ziyuan said a word, even if he farted, he was afraid that this group of people would praise him profusely and eloquently. This is the legendary hero. Seeing no one against him, Su Ziyuan smiled calmly and then said to Zhao Lidao, who was stunned. Do you know how to write poetry? Being able to write poetry is useless. To get out of here, you need to have influence and a background. Miss Chan Chan, do you think so? Faced with Su Ziyuan's reprimand, Zhao Li dared not even fart. He even felt that Su Ziyuan's words were somewhat reasonable. Being able to write poetry was really useless. Having a good father and having a good baby was the way. Luo Chan Chan also did not expect Su Ziyuan to resort to bullying at this time. Unfortunately, at this moment, his move is quite unsolvable. You said he said it well, that's just looking at the sky without any eyes. But if you want to say he's not good, then it's just laying a floor in the toilet, not far from feces. Thank you very much, Mr. Su, for giving me the character. This is a jade silk bag sewn by Chan Chan herself. Please don't despise Mr. Su. Luo Chan Chan is not foolish. If she disobeys Su Ziyuan's intentions at this time, not only her, but also the entire Yuhua sect will not have any good fruit to eat. Watching Luo Chan Chan extend his jade hand and hand out the jade silk bag, Su Ziyuan couldn't help but feel a movement in his heart. With a slight force in his hand, he pulled Luo Chan Chan towards his arms. Being pulled by Su Ziyuan and caught off guard, Luo Chan Chan collided directly into Su Ziyuan's arms. This scene immediately made everyone dumbfounded again. You should know that just in the last second, Luo Chan Chan was still the goddess in their hearts, pure and beautiful, cold and charming. But who could have imagined that at this moment, their goddess in their hearts was teased in public and embraced in their arms? No. My goddess. Su Gu, please give me the goddess. I'll knock one for you. Oh, what a shame. It's just that I don't have enough strength, I can only watch this scene happen before my eyes. Suddenly, I really want to stand out. But if you succeed, I'll die. If you fail in the beginning, I will still die. Think about it and forget it. Although Su Ziyuan's behavior filled everyone's hearts with righteous indignation, they wished they could take action on the spot to depose Su Ziyuan. But in the end, reason triumphed over everything. The existence of Su Ziyuan at this level, unless someone at the same level takes action, otherwise no one can balance him now. Just the black armored sword guards around him are enough to sweep away everyone here. At this moment, as the party involved, Luo Chan Chan was embraced by Su Ziyuan in public and blushed instantly. From childhood to adulthood, she had never had such close contact with any man, and she was still held tightly in her arms. She has always been aloof, making it difficult for any man to approach her. Who would have thought that one day he would be hugged by a man he had just met? Feeling the warmth emanating from Su Ziyuan's arms and chest, it made Luo Chan Chan's heart, which had always been cold and charming, tremble and jump incessantly. Unfortunately, the aura emanating from Su Ziyuan's Yin Yang supreme body made Luo Chan Chan feel extremely comfortable at this moment and there was an impulse to keep indulging in it. What's wrong with me? Why do I feel a hint of joy even though it was Prince Su who forcefully hugged me? 
I not only don't want to resist, but I really like this feeling. Su Gongzi is the supreme body of yin and yang. If he really likes me, then I can't either. Some ideas that never appeared in Luo Qianxian's mind in the past began to emerge one after another, even she felt a bit unbelievable. Her reactions naturally couldn't escape the sharp idea Luosha. No one is more clear about Luo Qianxian's personality than Yu Luo Sha. If Luo Qianxian is hugged by someone she completely dislikes, even if the other person's strength is immense, even if she is willing to sacrifice her own life, she will not let the other person take advantage of her. But for now, it is obvious that Luo Qianxian did not do so, and did not even show any resistance. This scene, even as the head of the Yuhua sect, she didn't expect it. Is it still the white lotus flower that has always been regarded as cold as frost by countless men? However, this result made Yuluosha very happy in his heart. If Luo Qianxian is really willing to follow Su Ziyuan, and Su Ziyuan is also willing to accept Luo Qianxian, then it will be a great good thing for the entire Yuhua Gate. From then on, the position of Yuhua Gate will advance by leaps and bounds. Anyone who dares to offend the Yuhua sect must first consider whether they can withstand the retaliation of the Cloud Heavenly sect behind Su Ziyuan. Not only did Yuluosha have this idea, but the elders and disciples of the entire Yuhua sect all had this idea to some extent. Unfortunately, soon their beautiful aspirations were suddenly shattered by a voice. Let go of that girl. Chapter 7 The Power of Luo Hao you are listening at NovelFull.audio. At this moment, everyone's gaze is directed towards the direction of the sound. At first glance, it was discovered that the newcomer looked somewhat familiar. It's that kid just now. How? He wouldn't want to stand out at this time, would he? Is this guy crazy? Does he know who he is dealing with? It's too much of an exaggeration. Even during my peak years, I dare not make any noise. How could this kid, Hida, dare to issue a warning to young Master Su? I understand, this kid must like Miss Chanchan. At this moment, seeing Miss Chanchan being embraced by Prince Su, it is estimated that she has become angry and overwhelmed with anger. Ah, what is love in the world? It's just a promise of life and death. That's right. The one who just reprimanded was Luo Hao, who was recently ordered by the Jade Buddha to reflect on the wall. It turned out that shortly after Luo Hao entered the woodshed, he secretly slipped out of it with his extraordinary strength. He originally intended to observe Su Ziyuan in the dark, to see if he could find an opportunity to take action and put Su Ziyuan to death. Anyway, he carries the Xian Ring, and with the presence of the one in the ring, once he kills Su Ziyuan, it shouldn't be a problem for him to escape while in chaos. Unexpectedly, he soon saw a scene that he couldn't tolerate. Even though the person in the ring had repeatedly reminded him to stay calm and not be impulsive, Luo Hao still couldn't bear to stand up. The appearance of Luo Hao also surprised everyone in Yuhua Gate. Luo Hao, you have great courage. Now, even my commands are useless to you, right? Yuluosha was originally fantasizing about the increasingly glorious scene of Yuhua Gate joining the Yuntian sect in the future, but at this moment, Luo Hao suddenly jumped out. At this moment, Yuluosha was so angry that her chest was filled with waves of excitement. She thought that with Luo Hao's talent, she would definitely become a top fighter in the Yuhua Gate in the future. Unexpectedly, now he has become a white eyed wolf who wants to destroy the Yuhua Gate. Luo Hao, don't mess around. Don't ruin our relationship between Yuhua Gate and Yuntian sect. Stinky kid, even Chan Chan is not so excited. What are you excited about? Hurry up and step back. Luo Hao, my Yuhua Gate treats you well. You don't want to harm the entire Yuhua Gate. You made a mistake before, don't add more mistakes now. Mr. Su has a large number. I didn't argue with you before, so don't be ignorant. Upon seeing this, the elders also shouted at Luo Hao one after another. Although Luo Hao is indeed excellent in the Yuhua Gate, what about that? 
Compared to Su Ziyuan, Luo Hao is an ant that can be pinched to death at any time. Su Ziyuan's ability to not care at once does not mean he can not care at all. Even for the Thunder Rhinoceros sect, whose strength surpasses his own, their young leader, Su Ziyuan, would kill at will, and the other side dared not even fart. If Su Ziyuan wanted to destroy the Yuhua Gate at this moment, just one command would be enough. With the strength of the Cloud Heavenly Sect, even if the Jade Buddha escapes to the ends of the earth, it is impossible to escape the pursuit of the Cloud Heavenly Sect. This is the terror of the top forces. Master, all elders. I know you are afraid of the power of the Cloud Heavenly Sect, so I watched Chan Chan jump into the pit of fire. Kikiankian, one should have their own happiness, rather than being forced to occupy their own position. I won't agree, let alone the sword in my hand. In order not to implicate everyone in the entire Yuhua Gate, Luo Hao, declare that from now on, I will have no further relationship with Yuhua Gate. My future actions only represent myself personally. Thank you, sect leader, for taking care of me over the years. I apologize for you. The next moment. Chang. A sharp sword carved with dragon-shaped patterns was pulled out of the scabbard by Luo Hao, and it was his personal sword, the dragon-slaying blade. Luo Hao is confident that with his current strength in the later stages of the Golden Elixir, coupled with his many bottom cards, even Su Ziyuan's black armor guard cannot retain him. Seeing that Luo Hao refused to listen to advice and insisted on taking action, Yu Luo Sha and others were extremely angry. Ding dong, Luo Hao causes public anger, reduces qi value, and increases the host's villain point by 1000. Su Ziyuan heard the system prompt and didn't expect that so quickly, Luo Hao successfully killed himself and lowered his own qi value a bit. I just don't know what level Luo Hao's qi luck has reached now, and whether he has reached the killing standard. If Luo Hao's luck turns black, he will immediately kill him in front of everyone. After all, if you come out to pretend without strength, you will have to pay a painful price. Luo Hao The son of Qi Yun Prop Dragon slaying blade, treading on the sky, current Qi Yun value. Blue the ultimate treasure of one's destiny. Xientian ring current kill reward. None sure enough, after several decreases in Qi value, Luo Hao's golden Qi had changed color, but it was still not black that could be killed. It seems that we need to let this guy bounce around for a while longer. Su Ziyuan shook his head with a bitter smile, wondering who made the other person the son of luck. As Luo Hao pulled out his weapon and prepared to take action, how could you Luo Sha, as the head of the Yuhua sect, sit idly by and watch such a thing happen before his own eyes? If the Cloud Heavenly Sect finds out that Su Ziyuan has even scratched a little skin on his territory, it will be a catastrophic disaster for the entire Yuhua Gate. Although somewhat reluctant, the Jade Buddha still issued the order. Luo Hao, since you are still stubborn and stubborn. So, our mentor-disciple relationship has come to an end. I can't let you hurt Mr. Su's hair here. Someone, take this piece for me. If there is resistance, kill to death. Yes. Sect Leader. Faced with the command of the Jade Buddha, even if they were once Luo Hao's senior siblings, they could only face each other with swords and knives at this moment. In an instant, more than ten disciples of Yuhua Gate each held weapons and surrounded Luo Hao. As his former classmate approached him, Luo Hao couldn't help but feel a hint of guilt in his eyes. He then shook his dragon slaying blade and welcomed him. I offended you. Seeing everyone's attack reaching him, Luo Hao remained calm and flipped his dragon slaying blade up and down, easily resisting everyone's attack. At the next moment, he swung his sword back like lightning towards the palms of the crowd. Bang 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 everyone felt a sudden pain in the tiger's mouth, and the weapon in their hand involuntarily fell down. Then, Luo Hao launched another attack, and a series of leg shadows followed them. Under the pressure of their strength, before everyone could react, they were kicked away by Luo Hao and their bodies were thrown out directly. This guy has such strong strength. Is it difficult for him to reach the golden elixir realm? 
faced with attacks from over a dozen foundation building cultivators, able to easily resolve them. Even if it's not the golden elixir, it's not far from it. This Yuhua gate is really lucky. Not only does Tian Jiao have a beauty like Luo Chanchan who can rank in the top three of the stunning charts. There are people with talent that is not inferior to Luo Chanchan. Unfortunately. Although this child has great talent, his personality is too impulsive. Even if it's a heavenly pride like Lei Yu, he still died in the hands of Master Su. Seeing a group of disciples unable to resist Luo Hao, an elder couldn't help but take action. It's Elder Tang. Tang Changlao has been in the Golden Elixir realm for many years, and it is said that he has already taken half a step to the Purple Mansion. With his intervention, Luo Hao must be unable to resist. At this moment, Elder Tang drew his sword and pointed directly at Luo Hao, saying, I underestimated you. I didn't expect you to have broken through to the Golden Elixir realm. However, that's all for the farce. For the future of Yuhua Gate, I don't care about my feelings. After speaking, the sharp sword in Elder Tang's hand turned into a lightning bolt and sprinted towards Luo Hao. Chapter 8 Self Righteous You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Elder Tang, you can't stop me. Seeing Elder Tang thrust his sword towards him, Luo Hao shook his head helplessly. If it weren't for the last resort, he really wouldn't want to hurt these former classmates. At present, if Elder Tang wants to kill him, he can only launch another attack. Facing Elder Tang, who was already half a step ahead of the Purple Mansion, Luo Hao was no longer as relaxed as before. The dragon slaying blade in his hand immediately emitted a piercing cold light and fought against Elder Tang. Bang 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 the sound of two weapons colliding kept ringing in the hall, and for a moment, flames splattered everywhere, with a dazzling cold light. For a moment, the two of them were evenly matched in a fight, with no difference in outcome. This scene once again surprised the people of Yuhua Gate. How could it be possible? Facing Elder Tang, who had already stepped into the Purple Mansion with half his strength, Luo Hao surprisingly did not fall behind. I didn't expect Luo Hao to hide his strength so deeply. Even if she is the Qian Qian saint, she is probably not her opponent. So, this is his arrogant capital. His talent truly belongs to the level of a demon. I'm afraid it's not inferior to the Tianjiao in those large forces. I'll be good. Unexpectedly, there were hidden tigers and dragons lurking inside the Yuhua Gate. If we give this kid more time to grow up. I'm afraid there will soon be another remarkable figure in Feng Yuan continent. Not to mention the fact that everyone was shocked by Luo Hao's strength at this moment, what shocked them the most at this moment was none other than Elder Tang, who was currently fighting against Luo Hao. You should know that at this point, he had already exerted all his strength, but even so, he still couldn't win against Luo Hao. On the other hand, on Luo Hao's side, the sharp sword in his hand was swinging faster and stronger, and in front of him, he felt a bit overwhelmed. How could he be so strong? Elder Tang gritted his teeth and murmured. The next second, a sharp blade emitting cold light pressed against his throat. You lost. Luo Hao held the dragon slaying blade and looked at Elder Tang coldly, saying. I see that if I go any further, my throat will be pierced by the dragon slaying blade. Elder Tang sighed helplessly and turned to make way for the road. The Luo Hao in front of him is no longer something he can stop now. If Luo Hao really wanted to kill himself, he had already died just now. What? Elder Tang has also been defeated. Clearly, the strength is only in the Golden Elixir realm. But it was Tang Lao who was able to defeat Half Step Purple Mansion. Even among Tianjiao, Luo Hao is still the top group. This person is truly a demon. In time, I'm afraid my strength will become incredibly terrifying. The defeat of Elder Tang has made some people somewhat impressed by Luo Hao. If it weren't for Luo Hao offending Su Ziyuan today, I'm afraid that many Tianjiao who came here would have befriended Luo Hao and formed a good relationship. 
After defeating Elder Tang, Luo Hao also looked at Su Ziyuan with some arrogance, his eyes full of provocation. He has the Xian Ring in his hand, and if Su Ziyuan uses the Black Armor Sword to surround and kill himself, he is not worried at all. You are truly the son of good luck. I also feel a bit envious of my ability to challenge beyond the level. Su Ziyuan sneered bitterly and self-deprecatingly. Fortunately, I awakened my golden finger not long ago. Otherwise, facing Luo Hao who was able to challenge himself beyond his level today, I'm afraid he would have really succeeded in making a move. Now, with his current Yuan Ying's full cultivation and the recently acquired three divine arts of breaking the sky, if Luo Hao didn't have a particularly powerful trump card, he might be able to instantly kill him. Unfortunately, Luo Hao's luck has not yet dropped to black, and it's really difficult for him to take action for a while. Otherwise, the system's rewards would be gone. However, to suppress such a hot-headed and foolish young man, Su Ziyuan has had a solution in his two generations. This kind of person, the more he cares about something, the less he can get it, and the greater the impact on him. And now what Luo Hao most wants is undoubtedly Luo Qianxian, who is currently being held in his arms. From Luo Qianxian's reaction just now, it can be seen that she is not resistant to herself, which means she has already accepted her behavior just now. So, the next steps are much easier to handle. Chan Chan, I didn't expect things to evolve like this. Because of my young master's recklessness, this Luo Hao brother is willing to go against your sect. I won't force anyone to do anything difficult. If you really don't want to follow me, I will leave. Su Ziyuan gently leaned over Luo Qianxian's ear and said, his deep and magnetic voice revealing infinite tenderness. Faced with Su Ziyuan, who was strong and handsome, with a playful and mischievous smile on his face, Luo Qianxian, a girl who had never experienced a romantic relationship, couldn't resist this temptation. Moreover, Su Ziyuan's supreme body of yin and yang is something that countless female cultivators dream of, something that can be encountered but not sought after. Once given up, it means missing the opportunity to become emperor. Young master, Chan Chan. Willing to follow behind you in the future. A mosquito-like sound came. At this moment, Luo Chan Chan had already revealed a delicate and delicate demeanor like a young woman. She lowered her head and dared not look at Su Ziyuan's captivating eyes anymore. Her blushing face made her even more delicate. Since that's the case, then you will handle Luo Hao's matter. Seeing that Luo Qianxian had already chosen to submit to himself, Su Ziyuan couldn't help but smile at the corner of his mouth. Don't worry, young master. Qianxian will definitely handle this matter well. Since she has already made a choice, Luo Qianxian naturally knows what to do next. Watching Su Ziyuan make some intimate gestures towards his goddess Luo Qianxian just now, Luo Hao's anger was once again ignited. Su Ziyuan, you disciple, why don't you release Qianxian? Today, I, Luo Hao, will act on behalf of heaven and kill you, you beast. With a roar, Luo Hao was about to raise his sword and kill Su Ziyuan's location. But the next second, a familiar and moving voice suddenly rang out, lingering in his dreams. Luo Hao, stop it. What are you doing? My Yuhua sect treats you well. Why do you, a white-eyed wolf, want to take action against the distinguished guests of my Yuhua sect today? The speaker was Luo Qianxian, who had just been subdued by Su Ziyuan. At this moment, she stood in front of Su Ziyuan, with a frosty face and cold eyes, looking at Luo Hao not far away. Chan Chan, how can I tolerate his frivolity towards you? You and I have been together for so many years, don't you still know my feelings? Don't worry, Chan Chan. As long as you're willing to come with me, I have the confidence to take you safely out of here. Don't be afraid of Su Ziyuan because of the power behind him. As long as you give me enough time, one day I will prove that I am a hundred times, a thousand times stronger than him. Luo Hao looked at Luo Chan Chan and said sincerely. He has a trump card in his hand, and if he wants to leave, no one can keep him. Chapter 9 
Luo Hao with a heart as sharp as a knife. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Having been with Luo Chanchan for so many years, Luo Hao has long developed an admiration for her. On weekdays, the relationship between the two is quite good, and Luo Chanchan, who has always been cold to others, becomes much softer when facing herself. He couldn't help but feel in his heart that with his incredible talent, his senior sister must also be devoted to him. Unfortunately, Luo Chanchan gave Luo Hao a harsh slap in the face with his next words. Upon hearing Luo Hao's words, Luo Chanchan immediately frowned and said with embarrassment and anger. Luo Hao, what nonsense are you talking about? I'm doing well here, why should I come with you? Also, I have always treated you like a younger brother and have never had any romantic feelings towards you. It's impossible between us. The only person who can make me deeply moved by Luo Chanchan is someone like Su Gongzi, who is like a dragon and phoenix. As for what happened just now, it was all voluntarily done by me. Why force it? Upon hearing the person he admired say such heartless words to him, Luo Hao suddenly felt as if his heart had been fiercely stabbed by a sharp blade, causing a faint pain in his chest. He looked at Luo Chanchan with some disbelief and said in a daze. Senior sister, are you lying to me, right? It must be Su Ziyuan who threatened you, that's why you said that to me, right? Luo Hao, I'll say it again. Mr. Su did not threaten me, he is the type I like. As for you, I have no fondness for you at all. As your former senior sister, I advise you to surrender. Perhaps I will still plead with Mr. Su on your behalf based on my previous relationship with the same family. Seeing that Luo Hao was still giving up on himself, Luo Chanchan couldn't help but feel a hint of disgust in his eyes. Ha ha ha. Okay. 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 Since each of you is following Su Ziyuan's lead, then I will take his life. Faced with Luo Chanchan, who had already regarded him as a stranger, Luo Hao immediately felt a great blow and became somewhat insane, without considering whether he could successfully kill Su Ziyuan with his current strength. Perhaps he felt that with his strength to fight against the Purple Mansion, he could easily crush Su Ziyuan, who was once considered a waste of cultivation in the hearts of many people. Just as Luo Hao was falling into madness, Su Ziyuan had already received the system's prompt. Ding dong, Luo Hao was disgusted by the female protagonist and suffered a heavy blow. Her qi value greatly decreased, and the host's villain point increased by 1000. At this moment, when Su Ziyuan looked at Luo Hao's qi value, he found that the latter's qi color had changed from blue to blue, approaching the point where he could be killed by himself. I didn't expect the feeling of suppressing the son of Qi Yun to be so comfortable. If possible, I don't mind coming a few more times. At this moment, Su Ziyuan looked at Luo Hao's gaze with satisfaction, as if Luo Hao, who was preparing to take his life with a sword not far away, was not an enemy, but a close friend. In Luo Hao's heart, Su Ziyuan had already become his mortal enemy at the moment. Not only did he cause his family to perish, but now he has also been expelled from his school and taken away his beloved. He wished he could cut Su Ziyuan to pieces. New grudges and old grudges made Luo Hao's eyes bloodshot, looking extremely terrifying. I'm going to kill you. The Heaven Treading Sword Technique In an instant, a powerful spiritual power emanated from Luo Hao's body, and then he stepped into the air. The dragon slaying blade in his hand suddenly turned into a silver sword and rushed toward Su Ziyuan. With Luo Hao's move, the air around immediately emitted an extremely loud sound of breaking through the air. A sword like intent emanated from the dragon slaying blade in his hand, roaring toward Su Ziyuan. This was already his strongest killing move without using the Xian Ring. Unless Su Ziyuan's strength far surpasses his own, it is impossible to block his attack and Su Ziyuan's black armored blade guard was not by his side at this moment, and now was the perfect opportunity to kill him himself. The silver sword energy is like substance, carrying terrifying energy that destroys and destroys, 
causing many cultivators to have a sudden change in expression, as if feeling the threat of death. If Luo Hao had just used this trick on me, I'm afraid I won't be able to catch him with just one move. Elder Tang, who was previously defeated by Luo Hao, couldn't help but feel shocked when he saw Luo Hao giving his all. He didn't expect that Luo Hao, who usually didn't like to speak, had become so powerful that even he, who was already half a step into the purple mansion, had no resistance at all. Of course, equally shocked were Yuluosha and all the disciples of Yuhua sect. But what scares them even more than their shock at Luo Hao's strength is the consequences if he really kills Su Ziyuan. On their own territory, if the young leader of the Cloud Heavenly Sect is killed, then what awaits the Yuhua Gate will be the crazy revenge of the Cloud Heavenly Sect. At that time, these people will all feel like they're not living or dying. Stop him. Protect Mr. Su. Yuluosha shouted anxiously, while stepping down slightly and heading towards Luo Hao, attempting to intercept his attack. On the other hand, the black armored knife guard, who noticed something was wrong, also rushed forward together. Facing Luo Hao who used the heaven treading sword technique, everyone had no time to rescue him. All martial arts in the world are fast and unbreakable. The heaven treading sword technique is a terrifying power that maximizes speed. The attacker is like stepping on the sky and can appear in front of the enemy in an instant, unleashing a powerful blow. However, in the blink of an eye, Luo Hao's attack had already avoided Luo Qianxian's attack on Su Ziyuan. Even if Luo Qianxian wanted to use his own body to resist, it was of no use. However, faced with such a terrifying blow from Luo Hao, everyone was extremely nervous, afraid that Su Ziyuan might make a mistake. The latter, however, appeared incredibly calm and composed at this moment, as if he had not taken Luo Hao's attack seriously at all. Instead, he smiled slightly at Luo Hao who was attacking him. The next moment. Die. Ha ha ha, I am the winner. With a fierce face, Luo Hao fiercely stabbed the dragon slaying blade into Su Ziyuan's body. Just as he was preparing to celebrate. Suddenly, Luo Hao sensed something was wrong. The dragon slaying blade in his hand pierced Su Ziyuan's body as if it had been pierced into the air, without feeling any resistance. A bad idea immediately flooded into his mind. Remnants. Luo Hao was surprised to find that what was pierced by his sword blade at the moment was not Su Ziyuan's true form, but just a shadow of him. Is that all? At this moment, Su Ziyuan's voice came from above Luo Hao's head. Not good. Upon realizing something was wrong, Luo Hao immediately wanted to step back. But how could Su Ziyuan give him such a chance? Chapter 10 Invalid Bottom Cards You are listening at NovelFull.audio At this moment, Su Ziyuan, who was standing tall, lifted one of his feet. Subsequently, an astonishing energy emanated from Su Ziyuan's feet. As Su Ziyuan stepped heavily towards Luo Hao with one foot. In an instant, Luo Hao felt a tremendous mountain-like pressure from Su Ziyuan's foot. In a state of urgency, Luo Hao attempted to resist by relying on his cultivation to fight against the Purple Mansion. But it was only when he fully resisted Su Ziyuan's attack that he realized that Su Ziyuan in front of him was even deeper than what he had hidden. His proud cultivation is not worth mentioning in front of Su Ziyuan. Su Ziyuan's kick easily broke through his protective true qi and fiercely bombarded Luo Hao's spine, trampling him on the ground in an extremely embarrassed state. How could? Like this. Not only can he evade my treading sword technique, but he can also instantly defeat me. What exactly is his strength? Xian Lao doesn't mean that with my current strength, even the Tianjiao in those big powers may not be my opponent. But how could Su Ziyuan, a second lord who only knows about wind, flowers, snow, and moon, defeat me? In that moment, the strength that Luo Hao was proud of suddenly turned into a satire. The words he swore to kill Su Ziyuan just now became incredibly ridiculous. The enemy who was seen as a weak chicken almost effortlessly stepped on himself. At this moment, Luo Hao, 
who had already been stimulated, suffered another heavy blow to his soul. Ding Dong, the son of Chi Luck is hit by the host, and the Chi Luck value is greatly reduced. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 2,000 villain points. Once again, Luo Hao, who was hit by Su Ziyuan, undoubtedly sent 2,000 villain points to the former. Seeing that Su Ziyuan was fine, the members of the Yuhua sect and the black armored sword guards breathed a sigh of relief in their hearts. However, the strength demonstrated by Su Ziyuan just now surprised everyone. Is this still the rumored second lord with low strength who can only wander between women? Especially the black armored sword guards of the Cloud Heavenly Sect were most surprised in their hearts. They are much more aware of Su Ziyuan's strength than those present. When testing Su Ziyuan's strength within the Cloud Heavenly Sect, the young master's strength was truly only about building a foundation. But now, Su Ziyuan's strength has made it difficult for these black armored sword guards who are close in strength to the Purple Mansion to see through. Although Su Ziyuan was unaware of his strong aura, every time he made a move, he showed extraordinary combat effectiveness. Previously, when Su Ziyuan was killing Lei Yu, they felt that the young master of their own family had suddenly become much stronger. But now seeing Su Ziyuan directly striking down Luo Hao, whose strength was comparable to that of the Purple Mansion, everyone felt a bit unbelievable. You should know that before this, Su Ziyuan never took the initiative to take action, it was all done by these black armored sword guards. I haven't heard that the sect leader has recently improved his cultivation for the young sect leader, have you? Why has the young master become so powerful in such a short period of time? Did the young master always pretend before? But why pretend when your strength is so strong? It seems that our young master doesn't want to be high. Profile. So I've been hiding my strength all along. Only when it's crucial will we choose to take action. The Black Armor Sword Guard tried to persuade themselves with various reasons, but no matter what, they would not think that Su Ziyuan was no longer the original Su Ziyuan. Sorry, Mr. Su. It was my lack of discipline that made Luo Hao, this white eyed wolf, offend you. Fortunately, Master Su has extraordinary skills and was not harmed by this thief. This person has no connection with our Yuhua sect. How to deal with him depends entirely on Master Su's orders. The frightened and undecided Jade Buddha spoke to Su Ziyuan with some trepidation. Imprison this person first. As for how to deal with him, I haven't figured it out yet. Su Ziyuan looked at Luo Hao at his feet with pity and said calmly. At this moment, Luo Hao, who was trampled underfoot by Su Ziyuan like a dead dog, was completely crushed by Su Ziyuan and unable to move. However, his gaze began to become even crazier. Do you all think I lost? I said, if I want to run, no one can keep me. Suddenly, Luo Hao looked at the Xian ring in his hand and said with a fierce expression from behind. Xian Lao, help me. After speaking, I closed my eyes and waited for my trump card to come into play. Before this, every time Luo Hao encountered a danger he couldn't cope with, the person in the ring would personally take action to smooth it out for him. And the reason why Luo Hao was able to grow so quickly in a short period of time is also related to the one in the ring. However, the previously tried and tested Xuanjia has shown no response in the face of Luo Hao's hysterical summoning. Xian Lao. Xian Lao, come and rescue me quickly. Luo Hao tried to summon again. However, the result was not much different. The Xian ring in his hand did not react, and the Xian Lao, whom he regarded as his master, seemed to suddenly disappear. This made Luo Hao, who thought he still had his cards and used, immediately panic. The reason why he dared to take action against Su Ziyuan just now was because he relied on his own Xuanjia and the support of Xian Lao. But now, my greatest reliance has suddenly failed, what should I do? What is this kid doing? Muttering to oneself in front of a ring. Is this more than a brain what? The broken ring of emotions is called Zuanlabiai. Why, this ring is your father, can he still save you? Let's first think about our own future generations. 
I offended young Master Su, you have ten lives that are not enough. Seeing Luo Hao become insane, many people looked at him with some pity. If it weren't for taking action against Su Ziyuan today, Luo Hao would have had a bright future. Ding Dong, the son of Qi Yun failed to summon his trump card and suffered a severe blow, causing his Qi Yun value to decrease crazily. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 1000 villain points. The villain point has exceeded 5000, and the system mall is open for you. To Su Ziyuan's surprise, in a short period of time, as the son of Qi Luck, Luo Hao suffered a series of internal setbacks and continuously provided himself with villainous points. It just gave him a chance to glimpse the system mall. Kaitian Axe Requires 2 million villain points. Ancient Ming Hong Dao Requires 1500000 villain points. Yin Yang Supreme Body Requires 1 million villain points. I didn't expect my Yin Yang Supreme Body to be so amazing, requiring so many villainous points to exchange. No wonder even the cold goddess Luo Qianxian couldn't resist her temptation. Although not comparable to the heavenly axe, it is definitely a super physique. 